We're here at the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma and joining us is John McCarthy who is the director of the Community Initiative and John we're standing in front of some of your raised beds. They look nice and ready to go. We are getting them ready for our planting, for our spring planting. Um, we have lots of volunteers that come in and help us out from time to time. Um, and you know these beds we use, do uh, just sort of traditional growing out here. Um, we'll get a spring uh, garden in now, although it, the weather's getting warm, and then a uh, uh, little later on we'll, we'll plant it for summer crops. So what's some of your popular produce that you grow in here? Well, we did have some tomatoes last year that did really well. Mm -hmm. um, we also, you know, we had radishes and other uh, leafy greens that did really well. So, And it's mainly volunteers that really help with this? or Yes, volunteers do. They help out. Um, I wish we had more of them when the summer weather hits and it gets a little warm. It's a little difficult recruiting, but yeah. um, we've got some good volunteers that help us out. So, so any of those people that live in apartments and are looking for a place to garden, this would be a great place to volunteer. Huh? Exactly. And okay. so you have some traditional gardens here. Um, what's what's behind us? We've got some storage containers. Can you tell us a little bit what okay. might be in there? Okay, so the containers over here are shipping containers that have been converted. They're call, called grow tainers, and they're basically um, vertical hydroponic system in there. Can we go take a look? Yeah, let's go look. All right, good deal. Wow, John, this is... You got to give your eyes a minute to adjust to this light. Yes, these uh, the lights in here are special LED lights made specifically for growing vegetables. So. Yeah, so it's it's the particular wavelength that the this lettuce likes. It's not actually <laughs> this color that we're seeing, right? That's right. It's a bright green, but it kind of looks uh, purplish black. Yeah. In, in the light here. Because the lights are kind of the bluish red light uh, wavelengths that we're seeing. And what I could do, do you want me, I could turn the lights on so we could see what it actually looks like. Okay, all Let's, right. Let me flip this light on. Oh, look at that. And then we can pull one of these out, take a look at it. It's magic. <laughs> it is. It's, it's nice. Well, it's a beautiful crop that you've got growing in here. Can you tell us about this system? So, um, yes, uh, about a year ago, we had an opportunity to apply for a grant with mm -hmm. the Morning Crest Health Foundation. And we were looking at things that we really needed and wanted. And one of the things is we're really trying to put more produce into our system for mm -hmm. our partner agencies and our own uh, direct service programs. So we wanted, we're always looking for more, more produce. And so we were thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we had a way to produce our own? So we have the, you know, the raised beds out there that produce some, but the thing that's nice about this, and it's, um, you know, we can do this year round. Yeah, and so, lettuce is something that we can't grow year round. That's in right. So, um, you know, like every 30 days, we're harvesting lettuce and we can do that all year round. So. Okay. Um, anyway, we applied for this grant. We we uh, tracked down this this system. It's called a grow tainer, and um, the thing that's nice about it is it has these vertical growing racks mm -hmm. that are hydroponic, and so. Basically, what we have is nutrient solution in these tubs down at the bottom of the racks, okay. and then every four hours, a pump kicks on, and it pumps water up into these racks here. And so, it kind of floods the bottom of the rack, mm -hmm. and that pump stays on for like three minutes, just enough to moisten these little rock wool cubes that the product's growing in. And then after three minutes, the pump shuts off and all that water drains back down into the tub. And so, like I said, it, uh, we do that um, six times every four hours, so uh, six times a day. And then the lights, they stay on for um, 18 hours and then they're off in, at night for six. Okay. And that's supposedly good, ideal growing conditions for the lettuce. So you've got the lights covered, you've got the nutrition covered. We've got the, there's air control, so we have fans in here. Um, and we also have a heat pump that keeps the, the temperature in here around 70 to 75 degrees. Okay. Um, we also have some of these, um, they're carbon dioxide uh, producing 
little canisters and we have those in here as well because the plants are using carbon dioxide in their growing process. Right. So these produce extra carbon dioxide to help you know make it more ideal conditions for so growth. So you're giving them the optimal that's growing it. conditions that's and you're right. able to harvest lettuce every three weeks, three to four weeks? Four weeks, yeah, something like that. So this is like a salad mix or a mm -hmm. mescaline mix. Uh, we're also growing sort of a hybrid um, romaine lettuce oh, yeah. here. Look how which is shorter, but it's a really nice, beautiful is. lettuce. Yeah. And then we also have these uh, butterhead lettuce. And and again, these take a, the the romaine and butterhead take a little bit more than 30 days to grow. And the roots on there are just yeah, the roots yeah, on there in the water. So this system, we plant these. This this little cube is called. It's made out of rock wool, mm -hmm. and it's a product, and it's just a fibrous kind of material. And the thing that's nice about it is when it gets wet, it will kind of absorb that water, but it doesn't leave it drenched in water. Mm -hmm. So again, when we water every four hours, it just sucks up water and then the roots can take it in, but it doesn't sit and rot the roots. So yeah. it, it, it dries out in between. And so when we start this, we just, we have big sheets of what they call starter plugs, which I wish I had brought one in. It's just a little bitty plug that's in sheets, like 120 little uh, cells per sheet. Mm -hmm. And we just put a couple seeds in each of the starter plugs and cover that. They sit in the trays here and get, you know, the water, the solution. So while they're small, you're able to start several plants in a small space. Exactly. And then expand them as they yeah, grow. Yeah, and so the thing that's nice is then after they, you know, germinate, come up we can split those little cubes off and then they actually once they get bigger they get set right inside this uh, oh yeah you can see it you there. can see the uh, the little plug that gets set in a hole mm -hmm. right in the top of this thing mm -hmm. and then it can continue to grow Excellent. Well, it seems like you can produce a lot of food in this very small space. So this space, with the, uh, we have 10 of these grow racks. Each of them have four um, shelves on them. Mm -hmm. So we can get 1,800 plants going in here at one time. So, you know, if you're looking at, say, every month that we can turn that around, that's pretty nice. And I think one of the things that makes these lettuce leaves look so exceptional is there's no holes in them. Right. You have yeah. no insects or that's bugs right. in here. Or bunnies eating or them bunnies. like they do yes. <laughs> out of the, uh, the other garden. So it's a natural protection being in here. Yes. Yeah, there's no, there's no real pests in here. So all of this is organically grown it, then? It is. Um, we've harvested that, you know, like hours before it actually goes out and is given out to the clients. You so can't get more fresh than that. That's great. Thank you, John. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.